It's National Rum Month. What's that mean to you? Use coupon code RUM14 and save 15% on everything at awesomedrinks.com. Put down your pajamas! Pick up your nice comfy clothes! We're gonna make a cocktail! Unless your pajamas are comfy. <laughs> it comes I like to... Usually I like they to, are. I just they? like to wear... Usually they are. I, I just like to walk around nude. Ian! I do that. Too. Derek, we're gonna make the Four Island Iced Tea. This is a cocktail right. I created this weekend. You did. I've been trying to create this for three months. Wow. Four months. Oh, is that why it's a four island? No, 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 no. I'll explain all that. All right. No, here's the deal. So I got these submitted to me a long time ago. And, he was and just thinking. He needed to do it since four months ago. It yes. wasn't actually <laughs> okay. four months the, the, uh, Every now, every few weeks, the PR person's like, hey, you guys get a chance to try this out yet? No. Uh, so this is blue chai. Blue it chai. Is blue the chai, best blue tea. tea ever. And this is loose tea, right? It is. Oh, that should be open so you can see it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's blue. Now this is trending on oh, on the on the earth right now. Yeah. I don't know. That, so there's we have um, not bitters, but they're like a flower bitters that do the very yeah. similar to what this is going to do. These are just flowers like this. Yeah, so. yeah. They're blue flower buds. Yeah. They're so, they're so what they're do they call those? Flowers. Flowers. <laughs> I mean, it's, you, it's a flower. I'm guessing you don't want to eat these. I don't know. I, I mean, they're steeped in here, mm. so I'm guessing like you can eat it. You leaf. might have to. Ch no. it, it might probably turn your face purple or That'd blue. Awesome. Um, so here's the deal. And this is a tea. How much do we need? Three ounces. Yeah. You All can right. taste it. It's really. I liked it. Um, it's better warm. Since yeah. I like tea Jennifer, warm. Uh, I like it. I like it warm as well. What I did for this okay, is so. I took one of these sample packs, probably about I'd say half of it, and I put it into. I don't know to think yet. <laughs> Okay, I put it into, um, I'll get back to you. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Yeah. It's weird when it's, um, I like it better warm. I can see warm, warm maybe it would be different, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is definitely, uh, it's got that herbal, her well, it's going to have herbal colors. Yeah. Um, so the blue chai, they sent me these free samples here, yeah. and I, I steeped this for about eight minutes, and then that's, I, I watered it down a little bit because I needed to cool it off a little bit because it was hot. Butterfly pea flowers. Yeah, butterfly pea flowers. Something like that. Butterfly so pea? You, 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 yes, yeah, it's right. butterfly pea. Imagine so you can check it out. Needed. It's at uh, <laughs> www.bluechai.com. Yes, they're, Thailand. They're in Thailand. <laughs> so that's the country of origin. I think I that's also where they come Thailand. from. They come from, <laughs> they come from Moan Island. They come from Moan Island. Thailand. Uh, <laughs> they go all together, don't they? <laughs> yes. So you can buy these online. It's on bluechai.com. The thing I did just because I put a lot of work into the cocktail, I said I'd like people to be able to make it. So I talked to them and they got me a coupon code for ten percent off. So if you actually want to buy, it doesn't come. It comes in a real bag. It's, it's I think it's like fourteen, fifteen bucks. Really yeah, nice work. Yeah, and it's CMC fourteen. Look at that. If you use that, ten percent off. I, I you know what I did. I went to their website. I I went to the store. I put it in my cart and I looked around to see if there was a coupon code area and there was. I'm like, you know so I hit is? them up. I'm like, hey, that's you working for your. Customers. I'm working for my customers, and, and, and I got I even got the word CMC in there. So we're gonna make this cocktail. What you're gonna do, and this is why it's called the Four, Four Island Iced Tea, is I wanted to create something that was just different and awesome at the same time. Plantation Three Star, Plantation Jamaican, Three Star, Barbados, Trinidad. Yes. So Three Star for three, three islands. islands. This is the fourth island, Saint Croix. Saint Croix. So Crucian and Plantation Three Star. You don't have to use those. You can use an aged dark and a, a white. But use your favorite ones. I like this a lot. We have this at that at, uh, this Tales of Cocktail. I also got the reserve back here. <laughs> so I was gonna go with this one, but it wasn't three star. This is their Barbados offering. It's Grand Reserve. Just, uh, just to let people know what the recipe is before we go too far. Okay. We're gonna use an ounce and a quarter of this plantation. We're gonna use an ounce of the cruising. We're gonna use an ounce and a half of Demerara sugar, which tends to be three tablespoons. Is that correct? Yeah. We're gonna use three ounces of the blue. Uh, Blue chai. Blue chai, blue, blue tea. tea. And we're going to use three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice and three drops of Jamaican number two. Yep. Bitters. Boom. Not to be confused with mango number five. Can I get some rice? Yeah. <laughs> what do you make it? What do you, what do, you do? I'm going to shake and strain, right? You're going to. Uh, I'm assuming since it doesn't say. No. What am I doing? Am I stirring in glass? Yes. Okay. You can stir it all in here because this. The the trick and the reason uh, is yeah. normally you would. Sh uh, let's do that first. I'll do this after so it doesn't get too watered down. Um, Normally you would shake because it has a citrus component, right? Fresh lime juice. However, and I'm going to add the demerara now yes, because it's going it to melt. It, yeah, it's going to take a little time out. 
Oh, we said three, right? It's not melting, it's not heat, it's dissolved. So, Demerara is a molasses sugar. This is washed, I don't know what that means. But, my goal it here... It's not dirty, Duh. Right. I got the three islands, I got Demerara, so I've got the molasses-like uh, sugar Demerara was used, is still used a lot in the islands, right? Mm -hmm. I have, so I've got the islands, everything. You can make here. a good simple syrup out of that, too. Jamaican bitters, right? And Jamaican I picked, number two. Jamaican number two. Jamaican number one, right here, has uh, the profile is all spice, ginger, black pepper. So you'll know if you don't, Caribbean islands are where we really started getting a lot of our spices, especially in, in punches and stuff like that. And this profile is grapefruit, hibiscus, and island spices. Right. So island spices is probably going to be your nutmegs One, and your, your gingers two, and uh, maybe cocoa nibs or something. Four. I don't get any of that out of there. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yes. Hey, did you see my... No, we do the don't lemon No, after. lemon does not or go in there. After. Yeah, but I can no. still squeeze it. You can't. Just don't put it in here because okay. there's a big reason why you don't. Okay. It's a um, surprise. So, right. unless you've been on our Facebook, then it's not too much of a surprise because I put a photo out there. But. Mm. Did you make a mess regardless? No, I need a, ice in? I think I left my spoon upstairs. But that's okay. Can I use my finger? No. Okay. I really like the spoons we sell. This one we don't sell. But yeah, the spoons are so much greater. It's kind of awkward. I yeah. never realized that before. We got spoons and tails. I thought a spoon was... <laughs> oh, yeah. Free, free spoons. Oh, yeah. I still have all... I still have all my suitcase, believe it or not. I still really? have all my recipes and everything in the suitcase. <laughs> all my swag. Well, no, I got... Mine's the, unpacked, but it's still sitting in yeah. the room. I got the Whoa. bitters out and everything, but I didn't get the uh, the recipes and the... Ah. Oh, that should ah. be enough. You know what? I'm really clumsy. So, no, I didn't even lose any, did I? No? Not enough. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this... This blend of uh, blue chai and all the other stuff. Do we have a strainer? What? Pour it in there. All of it? Okay. <laughs> yes, all of it. That doesn't look. Look cool. how well that goes with the glass. The yeah, I know. Glass. This is all been. This is all planned. <laughs> this is all designed. <laughs> oh, a blue all straw. Look at you. Yes, I'm, I'm accessorizing to the max. Oh, look at that. Of course, we sell all this. There's some sugar there. Is that all right? Yeah, I don't. I the, the that, sugar. That's no, because there's sugar in the bottom too, and that's okay. that's one of the things you have in the straw here. Okay. All right, so this is out of the box, which you, well, literally, uh, what you're gonna get is a drink that's blue. Yes. Right? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add this to the top. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, and you do. You do it. And this is where things get really, really awkward yet cool at the same time. Is this? That's oh, purple. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So the reaction of citrus against the blue chai yeah, gives yeah. you a purple color. That's pretty cool. And until you completely stir it, which in a gentle stir, you can see when it's actually fully integrated because the whole yeah. thing reacts and turns purple. That is the thing I think that's making it such a trendy. You know what a great preparation would be? To serve this with a shot of lime juice and have the person do it at the table? Yeah. yeah. And that way they get the That'd be the pretty effect. cool. Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah, that's why I had you. I mean, it, it probably would have been cooler if I put it in a shot glass rather than. Putting yeah, no, it in I'm later. saying like at a bar, if you wanted right. to do something, you put them side by something side, something with this effect, up. and it's like uh, top it, stir it. Otherwise, it's like going to hibachi cool. where they make it in front of you, yeah. or, or a lot of places where some some of the fancier dishes, some of the preparation happens table side. Right. right. That that would be a kind of a cool element to this, I think. Right. So it's it's definitely got the tricky. Now, if you want to add, in this case, there's there is definitely some residual sugar. You can keep the tea warmer. Uh, yeah. You can add it to the tea while you're steeping it. It's less residual uh, sugar. Then. But at the same time, I don't really care. You could simple syrup this sucker up, and mm -hmm. if you put it into a simple syrup and use the same measurements like I have here with the demerara sugar, what you're going to get is a little bit extra water because you're mixing yeah. water with sugar, right? I would do a rich, so two to one. You could do a two to one and have less water. Right. Yeah. The other thing is... And you it, could do it, steep your tea longer so that's stronger. Right. And there's a whole different... Yeah. The, definitely, I think the steeping of the tea makes the biggest difference because yeah. it's a little watered down, uh, but at the same time, it's, it will give the right effect. You but try. it uses a one, two, three, four, the punch recipe. Mm. This is entirely designed as much Caribbean as possible. It's got the one, two, three, four measurements. Uh, it's one sour, two sweet, three strong, four weak. Mm. It, I did it all proportions out, so it's as Caribbean as it can get, aside from the Thailand. But I thought, you know, with the spice trade and the routes and stuff, that you would could presumably have spices from Thailand on boats heading to the Caribbean and having every, everything... You know, moving up to the the colonies or to the to okay. the UK into Sp Spain because they're moving everything. You can presumably have something have like stumbled upon something like this. It obviously did this because is, I made it up on the fly. You get the lime juice pretty good. Yeah. 
I don't remember what you get. Oh, I just got some sugar. Yes. Yeah, you'll get so sugar. The more you suck up, you're going to get It's sugar not sugar. a kick your teeth in drink. No. Which is good. But it does have, it, you do get the, like that Barbados like rum. Mm. Uh, not as strong as you'd think though. No. It, yeah, and it's not going to kill you. You make it into a punch, it might kill you. Because it's not that mm. hard to drink. It has a dry finish. Yep. A little bit, which I think why you get that residual alcohol. Maybe, you yeah. do get, and I think using white grain sugar versus the Demerara makes a big difference because you get a little bit more of that molasses flavor. Yeah, you know, like the black strap, like yeah. which is why I was also thinking, do we go with um, Jamaica number three? <laughs> no. So there's Jamaican number one. That was the one yeah. I talked about. Jamaican number two. Jamaican two, which I picked. The orange. These are bitter, bitter cube. Um, the orange, I think, would just it wouldn't really do what I'm looking for. Then there's the cherry vanilla bark. Uh, oh, that sounds good. The Boulevard. This was the other one I was looking at. Was the Blackstrap? I thought Blackstrap, molasses, sarsaparilla, cinnamon also would play in here. So if you have a Blackstrap bitter instead of a Jamaican number two bitter, I think it'll work Ooh. as well. The bitter component is going to balance it out a little bit, but I think the spices you're getting are going to be what. This is what I kind of interpreted as the spices I'd want, but you don't have to necessarily use them. And then if you get, if you've already bought the horror infused for our uh, horror, our infused. Oh, get the cassia. From yes. our bitters class. I, and there's a <laughs> charter too. If you get the horror infused or horror infused Mai Tai we did a while back, I that think was that was really good. Drink. That horror right. that was your drink too, right? Yep. Uh, so you this know gives what you the, doing, don't you? This gives you the uh, vanilla, the cinnamon, the allspice, grapefruit, and the molasses. So Ooh. I think this one also would play in this. Yeah, that plays Um well. so you can go shopping on awesomedrinks.com if you want to find that type of stuff. If you don't already have If you want to play with bitters, that's the place to be doing. Yes, because we're getting, I'm trying to get as many as you can. And you do. I mean, I just will, looking at your shelf of the stuff that you use for the show. There's a couple I want to still hit on. I need pimento bitters, which have been harder to get. Um, I want to get the Halberk and Rauk, I think, or what used to be Bitter Truth. Um, I want to get those in here as well, but I think there's enough that you can play with in this drink or drinks like it to create yeah. your own craziness. Uh, but my goal was to make it Long Island iced tea like, like easy mm -hmm. to drink and dangerous to drink. And <laughs> dangerous. But yet follows the rules of, of punches, follows the rules of Caribbean, uses the Caribbean rums, and brings in the the tea without just going with gin and making gin and, and blue shy. I mm. think it would just be that would be like a slam dunk too easy make. And I made a couple of these last night. And it won't be too easy. And it, it will not uh, kill your ass. It's only two ounces of alcohol, but it goes really easy. And so now I like that dry two and a quarter thing. ounce? Said his line, I can get. I guess the quarter thing. doesn't really matter. The quarter, it, yeah. If you drink a quarter ounce of alcohol, you'll be fine. But if you have three of these, now you're at a three quarters. Now you're almost up your ounce. Now you're in you're in the danger zone. You're at six and three quarters at that point. <laughs> six and three quarters will and hurt you. It's not you. the six that's going to hurt you. No. It's that extra three quarter. <laughs> totally. Hmm. Up until there, you, you're, you're metabolizing everything great. Yeah. You think you're like, fine. And it hits you. So, and then you're like, holy <laughs> shit. Exactly. I shouldn't have had that last three quarters. It was the last three quarters to get you every time. <laughs> so if you want to create a drink that I've created like by myself and sat down and thought about I this. I helped you. And Jennifer helped me. I've been thinking about this. <laughs> well, you're married, so by yourself is like the yeah, marriage entity. Right. He means you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all inclusive. <laughs> but I've been thinking, since like, I've got like, these, like resort. I've been thinking in my head of where, what would pair with it. And after going to Tails and having had those, and I, I know how Crucian tastes, yeah. I thought that... That made bringing sense. that in this drink I designed once I did not I didn't make any adjustments I, oh, I nice. had backup I had another one of these yep. in case I needed to and there's a lot left over so you there have plenty to go with but my theory was I don't want to make this more than once and the way to do that one two three four ratio stuff that makes sense think it through yeah I just thought through the, the theory on apply how to make the, apply the formula I went curd style science I was all science you could put this in Excel spreadsheet yeah curd style curd style and it would have been perfect um, and like again, so. go to bluechai.com, and then yep. you can, when you check out, just use CMC14. Code is good until the end of September. Chai is C-H-A-I, right? It is. Blue Chai. Blue Chai. And uh, go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV. You can see the before and after shots. I put them side by Question side. Question of the day. Question of the day! Question of the day! <laughs> What's your favorite color cocktail? Purple's kind of cool. Or has that been done already? Oh, whoops. That That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> or has that been done already? <laughs> Um, no, you You know what? Here's the thing. There's sometimes where purple our audience cool has been growing up to 50,000 subscribers. New people come 50, on. 50,000? Yeah, and they don't oh, go all the cool. way back. It's, a, yeah. it's like a big number. That's a lot. It seems I like mean, a big number. What would you 
catalog. Say so. the yeah. tea is bitter, strong, sweet. Uh, I wouldn't say it's. It's, it's not strong. strong. It's very earthy. Yeah. Like smell it. You almost smell soil. Like doesn't it smell like the terroir? I'm sorry. Use the French word there. Yeah. No, oh wait. Okay. Terroir. <laughs> it's tail. much tail. better. I think it's much better. The warm. Potatoes of the earth. Yeah. Really? I really Home liked it as hot tea. I wasn't yeah. that fond of the, it as cold tea. The cold tea reminds me of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, they, Earth, like, yeah. yeah, is that like earthy? earthy? Yeah. It's not bitter. No. I mean, if you steep enough, I've this. You, I've steeped these for a while, and they don't get very bitter. I can, uh, I can imagine they don't get bitter because I mean, but they're not. If it's gonna get bitter, it's gonna get bitter, at least a little bit up right. front. And the flower, I don't think I don't see flowers as being a very bitter thing, as opposed to like stems and barks and, and leaves and stuff you like don't? that. No. Or what chamomile? <laughs> okay, so that's supposed to be a bitter, but it doesn't seem that bitter. <laughs> I, I also have a bitter problem. I yeah, you have a problem with bitter. bitter so. That what about coriander? Mama. Coriander, no, I don't see that. Or either. cardamom. Cardamom. No. Coriander's a bitter. It is. So it's cardamom. Cassia. Anyway. Yeah, cassia. So, and what's your favorite color? This is a blue. I would say I like purple. blue, purple. You know what else really works? Kind of cool is that weird gray. And as a chat room says, it it's really be. hard to make a purple cocktail. It is. Unless you do it this way. Right. Uh, otherwise, oh no, you need a red and a blue, right? So no, because they usually come out gray. Hmm. A red, yeah, but you need a grenade. Basically, the thing is, you can make a purple cocktail, but it's like always going to be the same thing. Yeah. It's going to be like grenadine and, and curacao, and um, curacao uh, Midori. What, what was the last? We went to a curacao? tasting place and they had a cocktail coloring, like the dyes. Did you get some of that? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you could make any color. The, cocktail. The, that wait, the, the dyes, like the, the rose ones and the hibiscus yeah, ones? Yeah, it was the, they were making the hibis, hibiscus yeah. drinks, but they had the colored ice cubes and stuff, remember? Right. Well, because yeah. it did the same thing. They did yeah. this. It was a it was citrus the, I think cube. it's the same, the oh, flower, because okay. they have a dr dropper, and when you put the dropper in, it reacts to the citrus, and ah, it turns okay. from blue to purple. Gotcha. Which is why I'm like, this is going to be a trendy thing, because people are making bitters, or kind of like a bitter out of it right. I, I can making, uh, concentrate yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're, the tea's big and I've seen these the blue the blue chai flour whatever this, the and they pea, made butterfly citrus piece. ice cubes okay that's so what that was right. put it in and right uh, you put okay. the citrus ice cube into the drink you could so do that with this too. yeah you could you could make the tea and make ice cubes out of the tea right you want to make iced tea you use citrus ice cubes yeah boom people like what the hell was that what just happened to your tea man it's all <laughs> fucking me up in the head <laughs> I don't even get it that's right. So anyway, so go down to the links. The you can find all the rest. Iced four tea. Island iced tea invented here. I'm gonna eventually have to create a like an archive of recipes that I've actually designed. There you go. I have a playlist, be a playlist for it, but I need to I, I need to write them into a like a little pamphlet or something. Um, to say, see how cool I am, and then you can get a show on the Discovery Channel. I feel like my cocktails have yeah, always like been well designed. You'd be like the brew dogs of cocktails. Yeah, or if yeah. people can get a show about. Designing Dude, fish tanks. You should be I able should to be get able a to show be... about designing cocktails. It's and not you know about what? what the show's about. It's about how how like appealing the characters are. I think right, exactly. Yeah. I am not the best at You're like, an bartending. Character. I just have to act like it. <laughs> no, no, you, you gotta get to be... deadlines and it's yeah. gotta be... Oh my gosh, this person needs their cocktail you, you in two have hours. Dra <laughs> two hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to have drama, you have to have conflict, yeah, right. you have to have resolution, you right. have to have a happy ending. B.F. Goodrich needs a cocktail made themed after their... Rubber. Brand in their rubber tires, so yes. we're using Patron. <laughs> no, no, it's all about the happy ending. Oh, Let's yeah. face it, it's all about the happy yes. ending. <laughs> With that, <laughs> let's that's, end it. That, that's where you just cut the video, and that's oh. it. It's all about the happy ending. And then it goes black. It's too late, though. Yeah. I, you, you didn't no, because you can cut it. It just happened. <laughs> it just happened. You haven't cut it yet. You can cut it. It's not too uh, late. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I can't tell people that they should visit Austin Drinks for all the stuff and then visit Blue Chai Bay. Uh, oh, they Blue Chai Bay. <laughs> BlueChai.com. That's for, true. That's true. Blue Chai. I want to say Blue Chai Bay because I'm thinking Blue Chair Bay. Which yeah. Is wrong. Blue Chai.com for the tea. Yes. AustinDrinks.com for the bitters. Yep, we merged Barware. everything. I drink and it's up a drink. New York. I don't know where you go for all this stuff. I got that and I drink up New York and that at yeah. the New York Store. Okay. But you can get Cruisin anyway. Yeah. The, yeah. But the Plantation 3 Star and all the Plantation ones I think are out. For your local, local uh, grocery store for your Demerara sugar. Yep. Good. Time for the happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you how to drink. I don't know how that goes. <laughs>
What are you? Are you actually eating sugar off of your penis? <laughs> yeah, you want some? No, I've got sugar right here. Well, I, I whole bag of it. Why am I gonna eat it off your penis? Because we want you to. It tastes better that I'll way. I'll get you. My dick is sweet. <laughs> <laughs>